PSAT, um, that's a test we administer in the 11th grade to help students prepare for the SAT, which is the college entrance exam. Actually, in this case, PSAT stands for Powertrain System Analysis Toolkit. It's a software program developed by Argonne National Laboratory in cooperation with the U.S. automotive industry. The development of PSAT is sponsored by the U.S. Department of Energy. Rather than describing PSAT myself, we traveled to the capital of Wisconsin, Madison, to the University of Wisconsin, and talked to engineering students that are members of the EcoCar team. PSAT is basically just a computer model that simulates what a real world vehicle can do. So in the model we can simulate like zero to 60 times or emissions levels or even um, fuel economy. And then from there, instead of having to build a full-size vehicle to test these things, we can do it in the computer model, which is a lot less expensive and uh, a lot easier to do, less time consuming too. At the university, Dr. Glenn Bauer teaches a course centered around PSAT. Glenn is frequently consulted for his expertise in hybrid vehicle technologies by automotive companies around the globe. So if we take a look at driving styles, a very uh, gentle drive cycle versus one that's very aggressive like they would use in LA, we find that higher speeds and higher acceleration rates have a dramatic effect on fuel economy. For instance, in this case, we see a, basically a decrease by a factor of three in the fuel economy of an electric vehicle by driving very fast and very aggressively. Software like PSAT is being utilized by industry around the world to reduce prototyping costs. So these students with this skill will be way ahead of their counterparts when they graduate. So we talked to the Wisconsin team leader and we asked him if he thought PSAT would be a valuable tool in our fight against the dependence on fossil fuels. It seems like it would. I mean, really, if you take out all the cost and time that's involved with building a, a full-scale vehicle, and you can do all your testing and simulations in a computer environment. Basically, you can run multiple models on one simulation and find out which model or which architecture leads to the most fuel efficient. By using a standardized tool for the design of future vehicles, students in the automotive industry will be on the same page for vehicle development. I am teaching this course at the request of the students. After three or four years of working in the shop on the vehicle, They've learned how to mount all the components, but now they're more interested in how the interaction between the components actually affect fuel efficiency and acceleration of the vehicle. And so PSAT allows us to do that on a computer in a virtual uh, setting versus having to build each individual vehicle. That probably makes you really marketable to the auto industry, doesn't it? I would, I would so. think so. <laughs> I would hope so. Yeah, maybe. I, mean, that's I guess. Cool. I mean, that's one of the things that GM does with this competition, though, is really pull, pulls people out of here. That's true. And I, I know, I mean, our team leader last year, Dan Mayer, got hired by GM. Mm -hmm. We've had lots of other offers to the team. So I guess, yeah, all these things that we learn through competition actually tie back into industry really well. And so it's, it's things that people look for. And uh, hopefully, yeah, it will help us out towards getting jobs in the future. Giving the students of the EcoCar competition the chance to work with the PSAT design tool provides a unique opportunity for the students to learn how to address real-world automotive challenges. The whole time, we're developing the next generation of scientists and engineers.